Link him back to the office, please. Link him back to the office. All right, guys. We're at a massive abandoned warehouse. It's got like some machinery and some weird like skips and hoppers and stuff still around, but there's not a whole lot. Um, I quickly had a walk inside here, but I'll head back in and give you all a look. Who knows what we'll see? Who knows what it was? I have no idea what this place was. But it had some pretty serious electrical system in it. Look at all the flute fuses. That's massive. Floyd will be getting the Bromleys. It's a train driving past. Now we're out in the big warehouse area. Look, it has all these weird machines and systems and they almost look like they could even be dehumidifiers to be honest. Like it was a big joint. Input pressure. Hydrostat. Control pressure heating. Who knows? I have no idea. Somebody has something against Shane and Brandon Langstaff. I wonder what they did wrong. Shane Ice Staff dead, right? Eh? You guys obviously all need to like get together and have a bit of a chat. Things have all picked up. I wonder why. I don't know what was in here that I wanted to keep out. V joint. It's freaking huge in here. And we're not even in the other half, like there's even more to this place than what we're at now. Big ass control box again. Alarms and systems and stuff. Blow room, thermal and smoke detection. Wow. Wonder what they made here. Alright, we'll go for a walk up here. This looks pretty cool. Who knows where this goes? Oh, more warehouse. Oh, there's a bloody car over there. Old boxes. An old um, floor cleaner, floor scrubber. Pretty cool. Ah, oh, I know this place. I've seen pictures of this. Here I was thinking that car over there was a BA Falcon or something, but it's not. It's a Mercedes. Why the hell is there a Merc in here? Obviously stolen. Why else would there be a Mercedes in this place? Yeah, look at that. Friggin' Merc. What a waste. I wonder why this was left in here. Top of the range too, full, full moon roof, air, air suspension, air ride suspension, it had HIV headlights. I think it was a V8 too. Maybe even turbo. That's pretty cool. Just sitting in here. That makes for a bit of a bit more of an interesting video for you. Stick a battery in it and it'll probably go fine again. Yeah, it doesn't look like too much is missing. 
All right, we're back out. I saw the caravan, so got to come over and have a look at that. It's pretty funny. Just a random caravan sitting in here. Don't think I'll get inside it. I reckon it'd probably fall over if I did. My fat ass. Okay. Nice wheelbarrow, brand new. There you go. Oh, the lead's getting in. Oh, look at it shaking. She's not great. It's got no stands down at the back either, so if it walks up the back, it'll probably lift up. Okay. If you want to. Maybe not. That's the very back. Oh, there you go. Stayed intact. All right, let's go have a look inside here. This is meant to be the house or something people lived in when they ran the place. Right, that was interesting. That was that room. Right, let's go in the other doorway and see what's in that. Oh yeah, definitely the office. So they had their office room. AMF bowling disc, right eh? Fully sick, mate. Oh, sick. 20 kilometer an hour sign. Slow down, speed kills. No need for it. There's a car engine cover. Probably off that Merc. Oh no, Land Rover. Okay, yeah, so there's probably a Land Rover out here somewhere too then. I thought it was a second story. Oh, there isn't, okay. Right, so that was that. Maybe it was just, oh no, there is a second story. There it is. I know we're getting that. Let's walk around the back and have a look. Maybe it has like a secret entrance. <clears throat> I don't think so, but you know, sounds cool. Well, that place next door is still going. All right, well, we can't get in there either. Righto. We'll leave that one alone then. Right, let's see what's in here. This might have been a lunch area or offices definitely set up quite well this would have been a big business back in the day when it was running not anymore a lot of water in there that's full up it's coming out that hole in the roof I'll open that doorway just for a look in the holes in the wall. What a huge joint. Toilet block, storage room. Be a really good spot to take some photos of cars and stuff, I reckon. Emergency lighting system up in the roof. Or well, is this like the loading dock? This might have been where the finished materials went. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Come and get your vehicle loaded up. More toilets. I swear, so many places have so many toilets. Oh, look, the ladies' toilets, and it's painted pink. Oh, that's gorgeous. What the hell's with the step up into the toilet? Oh, it's a shower. Still. It's a shower room. One of those plastic friggin' Bunnings Warehouse cheap specials. Yuck. Oh, and the men's toilet's green. I'm not even going in there. I can't be bothered. 
definitely was uh, had some food handling safety or something to do with something like that. It's got the fully covered lights in here and everything that had all the aircon up the other end. So there was some hygiene issues and maybe that's what's closed them down is they weren't keeping up with their hygiene. What's this? It's a big furnace. Holy shit. What the freaking hell is that? Well, that's different. I wonder what that used to do. It's like a massive evaporative cooler. I think that's what it is. I reckon this is a massive industrial type size evaporative cooling. That definitely looks like it's water jets. I think the these used to sort of sit in a bit further and they used to be big panels and they used to spray the panels and get them wet and the water would suck through and it would blow out into all those pipes that used to come out. So those pipes should be out here somewhere. Yeah, that might be there. That's probably where it went up and in there. So in here's the other end of it. Yeah, look at that. You can even smell it. Man, this is a big friggin' evaporative cooler. That would have been where maybe some of the inlet was. It sucked the air in. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That's pretty weird. And now it's like really soundproof here. It's like really quiet. Yeah, so I'm guessing that's where the air went up and in. And went up into the machines. Yeah, look at the pipes, the inlets up there. They're huge. You could almost walk in them. That's crazy. And then this is the other side of them. That was the other side of them. Had some protection from the sound. So this side of it's going to be where they connect it up. Yeah, it must be in the wall or something. Because there's some part of it. And they went right through. Well, there you go. Learn something new every day. I don't really think I want to walk over that. Stuff's not good for you. Hate peeing the ball buggers that have to pull it out of houses. Fire. Extinguishers and stuff. Fire hose connections. Oh yeah, here's another one. Maybe this was the uh, outlet or something. Look at the size of that. That's huge. I could nearly stand in that. You could stand in that. No, nah, I meant from like top to bottom. I reckon I'd be close. I'd have to crouch a little bit. Oh, there's like some like doorway. It's like all the main switches and stuff for it. Please keep door shut. Oh, it's outside. Maybe the dust extraction units as well. Could be that too. Right, I think we're done. I think that's it for this place. I've seen enough. All right, we're out.